Let's add a custom creative mode tab to Minecraft. 121 Minecraft modding course is available down below with over 11 hours of content covering everything from the basics all the way to block entities and custom mobs. All right, we found us back in Telegram once more. And in this tutorial, we'll be adding a custom creative mode tab to our project over here. And you will find that this is actually more straightforward than you might think with like one or two tiny caveats that you have to look out for. But it's going to be very cool indeed. Now, I basically always put my creative mode tabs inside of the item package over here. That is just a convention I follow. You can also create a custom one, but because all of them are in the same class and we don't need a separate class for it, and because it has to do with items, therefore the item package. We're going to right click new Java class and this is going to be the mod creative mode tabs. And this one will be quite interesting. Of course, we need to register the creative mode tabs. Therefore, we need public, a public static final. And what is it? Of course, a deferred register in this case, tab to autocomplete it. And then the angle brackets. And then those angle brackets. Well, the question is, what are we registering over here? Well, of course, it is a creative mode tab. Very important. You choose the correct class here. It is not creative mode tabs but a tab because we're registering a singular tab every time. So choose the correct class, double check this as well. Very important. The name of this field is then creative underscore mode underscore tabs equal to the deferred register dot create method over here. Here we're passing in registries dot and there's going to be the creative mode tab over here. Hitting, hitting the tab key to autocomplete it and it's going to import the registries class automatically. And then we're going to do the same thing for tutorial mod that mod ID where we also hit the tab key to autocomplete this and then our deferred register is done. As always, of course, all of the code is available down below in the description inside of the GitHub repository. And then to complete the deferred register, of course, we once again need a register method in this case with an I event bus right here called event bus. And inside of the method, we're going to call the deferred register over here. And then the register method on it, passing in exactly that event bus. And to fully finish this up, so to speak, we're then going to go to the tutorial mode class in the constructor. I personally like to register the creative mode tabs above everything else. That means I call the register method and passing in the mod event bus here above the mod items. I do not believe in, in the modern versions that there's any issues with the, with the order. I do recall that in, you know, past versions, the order here did matter, but I don't think it matters anymore. So that is one thing to consider. But then the question is, well, how do we now add the creative mode tab? Well, let's just see. This is going to be a public static final registry object. This one right here of type creative mode tab. So we'll just tap to autocomplete again. And this is the Alexandrite underscore items tab equal to the creative mode tabs deferred register dot register. So we're going to call the register method on it. And the first thing to pass in is the name of this particular creative mode tab. This is Alexandrite underscore items underscore tab. And the second parameter is a supplier. Let me zoom out a little bit. A supplier of creative mode tab. And you can see it already suggests the builder to us and then the build method. So we're going to select this, press the tab key to autocomplete it. And after the builder, that is where the magic happens. So we're going to add the semicolon to basically finish this. But we, of course, need to build a few things. And for that, we're going to first of all call the icon method. The icon method, very cool indeed. This needs a supplier of an item stack. And that is going to be the icon for your particular creative mode tab. Pretty freaking cool. So we're going to make a supplier inside of it of a new item stack, as you can see. Tap to autocomplete it again. And we're going to choose mod items.alexandrite.get. And that is going to or make the Alexandrite the icon for the Alexandrite item tabs. Pretty cool. We then need to define a title that is going to be when you hover over it. What is the title of this going to be? And that needs a component. So we're going to choose the component that translatable. You can see that actually already suggests this to me. So we're going to choose the translatable one because we want the actual name to be translatable to other languages. So we're going to say creative tab dot tutorial mod dot Alexandrite underscore items. That's going to be fine. And then maybe the most important method that we want to call here is the display items method. So I start typing in display and hit tab to autocomplete it. And then inside of the parentheses, we're going to start typing in the item display parameters. And you can see that it suggests this to me, right? This lambda over here. And what we'll simply do is click on this and press the 
tab key again to autocomplete this, create the curly brackets, and then I'm just going to reformat this the tiniest bit. And now inside of these curly brackets, this is where we will add all of our items to this particular tab. So simply we're going to say output dot accept and then passing in the item you want to add mod items dot dot get. Bam. Now the Alexandra has been added to this tab. Similarly, we can do the same thing again for the mod items dot raw underscore Alexandra dot get. And there we go. Also added to this particular tab. Now that is absolutely freaking amazing. And now our custom creative mode tab is already in the game. But as I've previously said, one is equal to none. Therefore, two is one. And that means that we are going to have a second one. Now, how is this going to work? Well, what I'm actually going to do is I'm simply going to duplicate this particular tab over here. And we're going to have this like again, basically. Right. So we're simply going to select all of it and then press control D to duplicate it. And we will get one error, and that is in the name over here, because, of course, these two fields now share the same name, which can't happen. So we're simply going to change this to the Alexandrite Blocks tab. And now it is very important that we, of course, also change the name here to Alexandrite underscore Blocks underscore Tab. We're also going to change this to Alexandrite Blocks. The actual item that is going to be displayed is no longer the Alexandrite, but is now going to be modblocks.alexandriteblock.get. And then, of course, whatever we add in here is going to be a little bit different. In this case, I want to add all of our blocks. So modblocks.alexandrideblock.get. And the second call over here for the accept method is going to be modblocks.rawalexandrideblock.get. There you go. And now there's one more thing that is very important, and that is the order of creative mode tabs. If you add one, it should just be added to the end of the line, basically. Of creative mode tabs. However, if you add two, all of a sudden there's some weird randomness that is introduced. I am unsure why this is the case. However, there is a way around this, and that is with the following. We want to call the with tabs before method, passing in the Alexandra items tabs dot get ID right here. And this is going to do the following thing. This is very important, so pay close attention over here. When we call this method with tabs before, right, we can actually go into this control left click on this and you can see defines the tab that should become before this tab, meaning that the Alexandrite blocks, wherever it appears before it will always appear the items tab, right? So let's say it's going to be like ingredients and then we're going to have the spawn eggs, right? And then we're going to have the item tab, right? So Alexandrite item tab, then we will always have the Alexandrite block tab right after it, right? So those two are always going to be in this order. And that is basically to ensure the order right here. So keep that in mind with tabs before means that this tab where they're passing in right here is going to appear before the tab will be called this on. That's the whole idea. And that is the idea of ordering the tabs when you have multiple, right? The only other thing we need to do is add the translation over here for the name. So that's going to be in the lang folder in underscore us.json file. I'm pretty sure this should be fairly self-explanatory is literally the thing that we've written right here, right? So creative tab dot tutorial mod dot Alexandrite underscore items. And that key basically is going to be translated to the Alexandrite items right here. I'm pretty sure this should be fairly self-explanatory. We've seen the translation a couple of times and now we're just defining the key manually over here. And there you go. That's basically it. That is the entirety of the custom creative mode tabs done. And yeah, the code is all available down below. So let's jump into the game and see if it works. All right, finally back in Minecraft. And if I open the inventory, you can already see we have two different pages over here. That is a great sign. You can see the Alexandrite items. And oh, there is a typo in here somewhere. Well, there you go. That is a, that can of course always happen, but there you go. We got the Alexandrite items and there the two items are in here. And then we have the Alexandrite blocks and you can see actually the typo here is that in the creative mode tab, right? You can see Alexandrite underscore block. So we can actually double check this here. I wrote block while here I wrote blocks and that is basically the issue. So if I were to write blocks in here now and we were to reload the game, and when I say reload the game, I actually mean completely restarting the game. And if we were to do that, then you can see all of a sudden Alexandrite blocks. So a typo, as I've said, can always happen. It can also happen to me. It has happened to me multiple times. I can tell you that much. But yeah, there you go. That is a two custom creative mode tabs added to Minecraft. Pretty awesome. And that's it for this tutorial right here. Next time in this video, we'll take a look at recipes and loot tables. So our blocks will finally drop something. Hope to see you there. So yeah.